you're deciding whether or not you want to purchase a new game on the Steam Deck, being able to see the active number of players within the game can be very beneficial. Some people will pull up Steam Charts or Steam DB to check those numbers, but wouldn't it be a great to see that data integrated directly into SteamOS? This is now possible thanks to a new Decky Loader plugin that's available for free right now. Once installed, the feature will begin working automatically without you needing to do anything. However, there are some settings that you can tweak, like where you want this player badge to be located, the text size it uses, animation, and more. Not only will you see that data displayed for games that you currently have installed, but it will work while browsing through the Steam store pages as well. And you can see that information right there at the bottom here. Before you can begin though, you must first have the Decky Loader Steam Deck mod installed on your device. This involves rebooting your Steam Deck into desktop mode, installing a script from there, and then completing the setup process. However, I have already done a dedicated video that shows how to install Decky Loader. So in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll be sure to link to that guide in the video description below. And I'll have this linked in the pinned comment as well so that it's easy for everyone to find. Once you have that installed, you're going to want to press on the three dot ellipsis button on the right side of the Steam Deck and then dive into the Decky Loader menu with the plugin icon that appears in the bottom. Then we're either going to tap on or highlight and select the store icon that appears in the top right corner here. And then you just need to search for the word play count, all one word. You will see the other mods filtered out from this list. And then you can tap on an install button for this specific plugin. It should only take a couple of seconds for this to be installed. Then when we dive back into our library, you can see that information that is displayed right there as a badge within the header image. And again, as mentioned, while you're browsing through the Steam store, you can see that player count information down in the bottom here. If you tap on a badge for a particular game, then you'll see the advanced stats page appear here. You can get various bits of information from this main tab, like the 24 hour peak concurrent players, the seven day average, 30 day average, and all time peak. But you can also dive into a graph that displays the player count history for that particular game. You can see a summarized analysis of those numbers, like how many people are playing the game on average at night, or during the day. And then you can see some advanced insights for things like volatility, stability, growth numbers, and more. If we press the three dot ellipsis button over here, then bring up the Decky Loader panel, and then dive into the Play Count plugin, you can then see the number of settings options that you have access to. So you can do things like change where you want the badge to appear. You can switch up the library badge icon that's used, disable the smooth animation feature, the size of the badge, switch it up to use sharp corners instead, and more. The play count decky loader plugin is really useful for those who like to keep an eye on how many people are actively playing a specific game on Steam. 
This can save you some time when deciding which game to play, since you are no longer required to bring up a website on your PC or a smartphone just to see these player stat numbers. But it can also help you to decide on whether or not you're going to buy a specific game, since most people will choose to avoid a multiplayer game if there are only going to be a dozen or so people playing at any given moment. But let me know what you think about the play count plugin down in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Steam Deck tips like this.